What up, Internet? This is Chris of Phone Cats, and we're going to take a look at a game on my iPad called Epic War TD Pro. Um, if you've played StarCraft tower defense games or any kind of tower defense game, you might really be into this. Um, let's open with a nice little fail shot of me uh, thinking that I'm awesome with three of uh, the cheap towers upgraded all the way. Uh, that is not how, that's not how you play this game. That's not how you start. Opening a tower defense game is like one of the hardest parts for me. I always uh, do like the wrong strategy or, you know, just bark up the wrong tree. So now we're changing things up. I got a couple big gunships at the very end, a whole bunch of mini towers in the middle, um, like a void ray and a slowdown ray at the beginning, and then a slowdown ray in the middle. And that was equally abysmal. Like, I killed all the ones that were in the far left lane, but everything else made it by, and that sucks. Okay, let's shift into hyperspeed and drop some towers, like at uh, 10 times the speed of light. Okay, I'm gonna, you know, sprinkle around some of these slowdown towers uh, with the same consistency that you'll find white chocolate chips and chocolate chip cookies. And then my dough meat cookie dough is just gonna be these anti-zergling, anti-marine towers. Because, I mean, you click on a tower and it tells you what units it counters. And the first wave has been all these, like, uh, infantry or, like, biological units, so... So, yeah. Alright, uh, I like tower defense games. I really like when there's a fast forward button, and this one has it. So, once you feel comfortable and secure, you just double tap that uh, bottom right button and things get really serious. Each one of these towers you can upgrade, and when you're playing on a tablet, like, the multi-touch or being able to do things really fast is just amazing. Um, like, when you're playing in fast forward mode, and you just have, like, Thors and battle cruisers and just these huge units coming through and you're getting so much money, you're just spam clicking upgrades like as fast as you can and it gets really intense um your apm will not get all the way as high as starcraft 2 but it may rival that oh my god look at all these ground vikings this is insane um i have some of the most expensive towers like right there oh god they're already starting to make it through as you can see damn as you can see i've already let 12 guys through i think it was like a huge biological zerg wave and just a couple snuck past me, but I beefed up my defenses near the end. Uh, these cattle bruisers do not stand a chance. Like, I've been around the block. I got some, like, super strong, like, anti-massive unit setup going. They don't even know. Battle cruiser operational. Did that sound like the battle cruiser guy? One unit I haven't seen yet is the Raven. Like, the new, uh, the new Terran Raven. And I really want to have someone photoshop the girl from that So Raven to be the, the little image for the Raven driver. It would make my life complete. Okay, still killing it. I'm on wave 37. Uh, just FYI, I am holding my iPad right now. And as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to continue playing. Because I, I didn't die and I didn't beat it. It's still going. And just so you know, there are other levels, like this simple little S pattern isn't the only thing for the whole game. I think there's at least a couple more, but I was flicking around in them earlier. And there's some other stuff. Like, this isn't it. This isn't end game. Wave 38! How many waves are there? It better not be 100. Alright, got some beefy tanks. Each time the unit's HP gets higher, and sometimes I'll move faster, but like at an exponential rate, I'm getting money and I'm spending it. Oh god, they're making it further. We must protect this S! Ooh, okay. I thought I already had defense back here, but I don't. But yeah, sometimes it's nice just to eat a wave and then uh, just be able to like spend money at your own pace and pause it. Or just go like non-stop where right in the middle you're just like spamming upgrades or just hitting a button until like you have enough. Thankfully there's no like SCV or whoever says like, not enough minerals, not enough minerals. I guess that's if you play Protoss or whatever. I don't even really play StarCraft 2 that much. It makes me really nervous. <laughs> but I play the used map settings and the custom games for like at least 30 hours a day. Oh 
cattle bruisers, why do you waste your time? I have so much anti-air, like anti-massive unit stuff. No chance. And I'm pretty sure this game is synced up with faint and stuff like that, so after you play for like three hours, you can at least compare your high score to someone else, or compare to see how you've done. But I can already tell, um, this is going to be one of those games that people can play for like a really long time. But really cool. Shout out to the uh, developer slash seller, advanced marketing, etc. Oh no, Marines too. Yeah, right. Ain't going nowhere. Oh no, Broodlords and Hydralisks. Broodlords and Hydralisks. Nah, we got this. Okay, that's going to wrap up this uh, little episode of Phone Cats. And if you're feeling this, check out this game. You can get it on an iPad. I think there's some older versions that are on the iPhone or just iOS, iPod Touch, whatever your fancy is. And, God, look at all those Broodlords. Look at all those Broodlords. Thank God they don't make Broodlings, too, or whatever their little underlings are called that they poop out.